solve the following inequality. Here we have a quadratic inequality involving only one variable. To solve this inequality, we'll express it first in standard form, making it zero on one side of the inequality. We then determine the solutions to the corresponding equation. The solutions to the corresponding equation represent the x-intercepts of the corresponding quadratic function. Then, based on the direction of opening of the quadratic function and the inequality symbol, meaning whether it's a greater than or a less than, we determine which values of x correspond to the solution. Here, first changing it into standard form by subtracting 10 from both sides, we get x squared minus 3x minus 10 is greater than 0. We'll then look at the corresponding equation, x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals 0. This quadratic expression on the left side of this equation can be factored. We're looking for numbers that multiply to give negative 10 and add to give negative 3. These numbers are 2 and negative 5. We then have the factors x plus 2 times x minus 5 equals 0. The solution then corresponds to x equals negative 2 and 5. If we were then to graph the corresponding function, we have x-intercepts at negative 2 and 5. Note here that I'm using hollow circles because the inequality symbol is a greater than, so it cannot include these x-intercepts. We then look at the corresponding function, y equals x squared minus 3x minus 10. This would open upwards. We then look at the inequality symbol. In this case, it is a greater than 0. This means it corresponds to the portion of the graph that is above the x-axis. We then have the portion on the left side corresponding to x less than negative 2, and the portion on the right side corresponding to x greater than 5. We then have the solution x less than negative 2 or x greater than 5. Remembering we must use the word or as our modifier instead of the word and.